it's already May. It's already May. Can you believe it? We're, we're almost halfway through 2021. 2020 lasted five decades. <laughs> and we're almost already halfway through this year. But hey, it's May in LA, and I say that's okay. Reg A, you slay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, today, is Guillermo's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Guillermo. We love you so much. And if that wasn't enough excitement for one show, I and it is, let's be honest, it is. <laughs> for, for dollar versus rewards, that's enough excitement for this show. <laughs> but it's even bigger than that because CBS's very own, back at it again for the first time, back in the building, <laughs> Nick Bernstein is in the studio. <laughs> been working at home for the last 14 months. This is the first day he's allowed back in. Nick, explain to everybody watching, and when I say everybody watching, <laughs> all of us, what it is, <laughs> what it is you do. What it is I do. Yeah, what is, what is your job? So you know how sometimes you yell at Rob because he's the man yes. who keeps you, doesn't yes. allow you to do things? Yes. That's, that's me, yes. actually. You are, but what is your title? You are? Oh, I'm a, a senior vice president of late night programming for senior CBS. Senior vice president of yeah. late night programming. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We're so happy that you're here. I'm you thrilled. are a beloved member of the team and we've missed you. Thank you. This past year, we have. But yesterday, Ben, does everyone remember Ben? <laughs> ben, ben Winston, you see, yeah, he's... I'm here. Yeah, so Ben, that's Ben. Ben's... Hey, Ben. Hi, James. So that's Ben. Doesn't come down to the show anymore. He's got bigger fish to fry. But... <laughs> ben was throughout... Ben came to my house yesterday afternoon with his family, and we said Nick's in the studio. We were so happy, and we both agreed that we should get Nick the highest chair possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sit him behind the bar. Yeah. And you, that, we've really come through on that. I didn't, I'd forgotten all about it, if I'm honest, until I walked <laughs> in and saw you sat there. Yeah. And that is, is a high cool. chair. How are you feeling? I, uh, I, I feel great just being here. I have a direct line to watching Reggie eat a salad, which is very cool. And, That's the dream. Uh, I mean, this is an unbelievable experience already. <laughs> <laughs> now... This won't mean a lot to the viewers, but uh -huh. we've all been through some hair challenges. <laughs> <laughs> through lockdown. You more than any. I, what? <laughs> Talk me through it. I mean... <laughs> How did it start and when does it end? Tough way to go into a conversation being told this is a challenge, but... No, uh, I said we've all been through a challenge, but you've, you've, you've grown oh, now. Which you. I, if someone had said to me, Ian, back me up. If someone had said to us at the start <laughs> of lockdown, Nick Bernstein's going to grow his hair like he's like the fifth BG, none of us would have believed it. No. No, 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 no. He went yeah. into this like normal Short hair. Short back and sides. Short yeah, back yeah. and sides, normal hair. He's come out of it looking like a backup Fran Leibowitz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always got nervous about anyone trying to cut curly hair, so I just started to let it go, and then it turned into a thing, and now it's still... I, I thought of myself as more of a, like, substitute teacher for Days and Confused. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll give you that. that you was... could be that. You could be Kenny G's younger brother. Yes. There's any number of things. <laughs> There's any number of things. But I've got to say, because I'd heard rumours about the hair, people would be like, have you seen Nick's hair? I'd say, have you seen Nick's hair? I actually rather like it. <laughs> <laughs> There you, go. there you go. There you go. Before and I've got to say, I love it. Thank you. I do too. Thank yeah, you. I do. Thank you. You could, be like, you could be the bass player in Bush. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not the original. Not the original member of Bush. Yeah. Like something happened, he left the band. We need a bass player. Bernstein comes in, licks it up. I really believe. I'm, the, I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it. So uh, you are the pipeline to the big cheeses. Yes. The grand fromage. Yes. Most of the time these days when I get on a Zoom with people who are presidents at CBS, I come on and they just shake their head like, I can't believe we hired th this. Because <laughs> of the hair. Or because of the, of the success of this show. <laughs> 
little of both. Let's be honest. A little of both. A little of both. Yeah. What is the feeling at the network about how the show's performing? <laughs> feel, it feels like a... feels like an offline conversation, don't you think? <laughs> hey, you, this is it. We're all in the trust tree this now. Is it? Oh, OK. No okay. one... <laughs> no one falls in the trust tree. We're going to get to Pete's shirt in a minute, but let's... <laughs> <laughs> First, let's start with this. How are the network feeling? Thrilled, excited about this act one and how things go in this general section of the show. Uh, told me how much they loved the Oprah call the other day. Oh. Had people tell me about the Patti LuPone, how much they enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, just, uh, they're just excited and they want to keep on making shows. Let's do, do it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Just so you know, Nick, it's not really a start your own round of applause kind of place. But... <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sure if you've watched the show, but it's not really a place where Ian drops a singer and is like, "Am I right?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're thrilled that you're here. Are Thanks. you going to stick around here all week? It's really hard to get off the chair, so I think I am. <laughs> it's a really high chair. Here's so what I'm I think really we good. do. Because I don't think we should keep you... I think this is a... Very, and I applaud you for taking such a public position on your first day back. All I, I, I think we do this. Throughout the week, that chair gets incrementally higher. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then on Thursday, Reg doesn't sing us out. Nick does. <laughs> We all leave, and then, and then, Nick, you can just take up your place wherever you want okay. in the studio. Does that sound like a good deal? I, but anything you guys need, I'm happy to help. Oh, oh yes. that's why we love it! That's why we love it! Yeah. Well, look, we could talk like this all day. We could, couldn't we? We could. We could. We but could. this show, this isn't a talk show. Usually we do. Sorry? Usually we do. Nick, you've got to know when to jump in and when not. <laughs> I can't. I was waiting for the giving Steve a second. I, I was giving Steve a second. I can't stress this enough. You've really got to... You've really got to... Like, yeah, Ian and Reg are professional you know comedians. Sorry. They... No, you've got to stay on my... These are professional comedians. You've got to really judge when you're starting up a... You know? It felt, it felt right. It felt right. Enough. But, look, we could talk like this all day. Couldn't we, Nick? <laughs> We can talk like this all day, but this isn't a talk show. It's not a talk show, is it, Nick? You've seen it. It's not a talk show. What do people come here for, Nick? They come here for the news. Yeah. Absolutely, they do. Good evening. And we're going to kick off. we got some great news because California now has the lowest virus rates in the entire country, with yesterday being the best day in L.A. County Woo! in over a year. Yes. Finally. Yeah. Incredible. Amazing news. Amazing statistic. And I think we all know that this ultimately comes down to one thing. The healing power of crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The numbers look really hopeful. One day soon, people in L.A. might finally be able to stop talking about COVID and go back to what they do best, which is talking about themselves. <laughs> And this is exciting. Disneyland is now open. It's the first time in over a year that the theme park has been open to guests. Life is finally returning to normal. Now California can get back to focusing on its primary epidemic, Disney adults. <laughs> <laughs> but the theme park's been closed for over a year and it looks like Donald Duck used his time to finally get that nose job he always wanted. good. <laughs> 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 Will, it, will you be going to Disneyland? Will you go now it's open? I'm not really drinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And did everybody see this? According to a new study, looking at your phone makes other people around you do the same. It's part of, of a phenomenon which causes people to mimic each other's behaviour. It's called the chameleon effect. I read this study while riding the elevator with Guillermo. <laughs> But, yeah, of course I'm going to look at my phone if you start looking at your phone in the middle of our conversation. What am I supposed to do? Stare at you staring at your phone. Now, look, 
<laughs> Look, that's it. That's what I... That's not even for a joke. That's actually what happens during the show. But... <laughs> If you ask me, though, this study's good news. Now, when you're at brunch and you get called out for looking at your phone, you can be like, ah, uh, I was just testing out the chameleon effect. Maybe read a research paper once in a while, Denise. <laughs> and... <laughs> this was a crazy story. A man was visiting a park in Pennsylvania over the weekend, and while he was using a porta potty, a massive tree fell and trapped him inside. Here it is here. Look at that. Rescuers actually had to cut through the tree and threw the porta potty to get him out. When rescuers got to the door, the man inside was like, uh, occupied. Can <laughs> you imagine if this was the first time this guy had left the house in like a year? He's like, you know what? I've been vaccinated. I just I need to get out, enjoy some nature. I'm just sick of being trapped inside. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been trapped anywhere? Lift, porta potty, that sort of vibe? No, nah, in a couple of relationships, but never, like, physically. <laughs> <laughs> I once got... Have you been stuck in the lift here before? No, Has I've that been happened lucky. to you? Has that happened to anybody here? No, that's terrible. Do you even take... You don't even take... Mm. There's certain lifts Hell, you won't take, right, I won't G? take... No. Do you not take any of them? Absolutely not. Not anymore. Wow. Yeah, it, is, it does feel like a white-knuckle ride. You won't go in them either, will you, Rob? Oh, once uh, Floyd Mayweather got stuck in the elevator here, I have not been on it since. But you wouldn't go in it before that, would you? No, I probably haven't been on an elevator in this building in four years. Wow. It does feel sometimes like you're white-knuckling it, doesn't it? Have you been in it when it's gone... Vroom? <laughs> Nick, can you speak to the big cheeses about this? Are they, are they bothered? I didn't know this was a problem, but now I'm going to try and do something about yes. it for you. <laughs> Is that the sort of thing you've got the power to do? Has it been discussed? It has never been discussed. The way you shake now is like... <laughs> Incredible. No! Like a Timote commercial. It's like... The shampoo it's commercial. It's like, again, hang on. Shake us a no and let's get it in slow-mo. It's like the this. worst Give us a no, hell. give us a no Regular, and get it no. in slow-mo. Uh -uh. no. I mean, look at that. <laughs> luscious. Absolutely luscious. Yeah, yeah look at this, slow-mo. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Happy May, everybody. <laughs> uh, may I? <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> and finally, it's prom season, and to mark the occasion, Red Lobster has released a special set of instructions on how to create a lovely corsage or boutonniere out of, no kidding, their Cheddar Bay biscuits. Here's the end result here. Look at that. It involves gluing it on, but glue or no glue, that's getting eaten drunk at 1am. No question. <laughs> a Cheddar Bay biscuit boutonniere. This will go great with your Popeye's fried chicken cluxedo. <laughs> we'll be right back with Tiffany Haddish, everybody.